Alright, let's turn the power back on. As well as get the red herb in this room. And this room looks slightly different. Anything else in here that I may need, possibly? No, it doesn't look like it. And that angle may make it easier for you to do the puzzle. <laughs> Around the zombie. Crap. Check it out, the battery is actually in here for the final elevator, so you gotta come in here. Well, you always had to come in here, but now you gotta make sure you grab that battery. And there's actually no chimeras in this room, I, re I realized. But, you know, yeah, they are much more powerful in range mode. I wasted like four magnum bullets. Or more. Wow, they're super easy to avoid. <laughs> no point in wasting ammo on them. Alright, that's enough ammo left, I'd say, for the final tyrant fight. But I'm still gonna save him for just a tad longer. For this little bit with the tyrant where he just drops down, I'm gonna use the bazooka on him. Should be enough ammo. Let's get this one green herb out, let's combine with the red, because that's pretty much all the health items we have left, besides the first aid sprays. Alright, let's grab the bazooka, and we're good to go. Alright, so, with the events we did, this little sequence was very... Jill! Very slightly different. Jill! You're here, too! Yes, you're here too? Oh my god. Look, uh, I lost my way. Cheesy. Let's get going. You lost your way. Okay. Well, we're about to learn about his betrayal soon enough. But things will go differently since we did what we need to do to let him live at the end of this game. It's quite awesome too. Well, let's go ahead and sit through this speech again. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission, as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him. 
but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh, that's different. He walked towards you. But this... Oh! Oh! Barry! Sorry, Jill. How was your family? Uh... I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well... He was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. I have this. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Alright, so you still have to do the sequence anyway. <laughs> Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. No doubt. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. I don't do anything stupid, Barry. does. slightly tougher than using the Magnum, and it probably would have taken more anyway, because of this mode and all. Alright, the door's no longer locked, so we don't have to worry about that. Barry? Barry? You're alive! Uh, 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 I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. <laughs> well, he's all right. Unlike last two playthroughs where he didn't survive. What happened to Wesker? Uh-oh. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. Majorly different from the previous two playthroughs. 
We don't need the master key. This is Brad. We're running out of fuel. If there is anyone alive, contact me now, okay? Right, we got the battery. There is three minutes until explosion. We have only one more step to go. Okay, I'll go. Jill, you try to contact Brad. Okay. Alright, so we gotta act fast because we are on a time limit. So, I'm not wasting time. Center. Alrighty, this is it. And now you're gonna see why I'm even bothering bringing weapons and health still. Stay to his right. It's easy enough. shot is all we need. For some reason, they give you four. And you can totally see his mouth still moving, it's funny. Alright, that is it. So, let's 
sit back and enjoy the good ending. good ending and that is the end of Resident Evil 1 this playthrough anyway all right and once again we're gonna skip the credits oh so you, now when you get the good ending or the best ending here's the difference you actually get a picture with it and wow I actually finished that faster than I thought I did only two hours and 51 minutes all right well that means we probably still unlocked the infinite rocket launcher so, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what it meant. Alright. The hell? Okay. Ugh, I just totally fucked that up. Alright. Well, that is the th end of the third playthrough. That was the good ending. And we managed to unlock the rocket launcher again, so we actually could use it in the next playthrough. Alright, well, that is it for this third playthrough. This is Shankster94, aka the Gamer Shankster. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time in the fourth playthrough featuring Jill's best ending. Peace out.